Hello children, welcome again. We are discussing system of resistors from chapter number 12 electricity. And in the previous video lesson, we discussed about the resistors connected in series. We discussed about what is the effect of electric current and potential difference in an electrical circuit when the resistors are connected in series. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the resistors connected in parallel. So like I said in the previous video lesson, when the resistors are connected one below the other between the two common points, they are said to be connected in parallel. So in the figure which is flashing there on the screen, you can see that the two common points are A and B. And between these two common points, each end of resistor R1, R2 and R3 is joined. So these three resistors are connected in parallel. But now we need to understand that when the resistors are connected in parallel, what is the effect of electric current and potential difference in an electrical circuit. So let's understand that and first find out how an electrical circuit can be drawn with the three resistors connected in parallel. So let's have the look at the circuit diagram. This is the combination of three resistors connected in parallel between the two points A and B. To complete the circuit diagram, we will first draw a battery. After that, we will connect a plug key, then an ammeter in series. You can check the polarity of the ammeter and the battery. Positive is connected to the positive of ammeter and then we will complete the figure. This is the positive terminal of the battery and this is the negative terminal of the battery and the electric current flows from positive terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the battery. Alright, so this is how we have connected the apparatus or you can say the devices in an electrical circuit. Now as I said that the voltmeter is always connected in parallel across the two points. Now in our case we have two points A and B and across these two points we will connect the voltmeter. So voltmeter is connected between the two points A and B and now I need to find out how much is the potential difference across the combination of these three resistors connected in parallel. So what will we do? We will first plug in the key. The moment you plug in the key, the voltmeter will start showing you some readings. You can observe one thing that the battery is also connected to the combination of this three resistor. One end, the negative terminal of the battery is connected to end A of the comp combination and the positive terminal of the battery is connected to end B of the combination. So, the potential difference across the battery, if it is 5 volt, then you will observe that the potential difference across every resistor is also 5 volt. Alright, because the voltmeter is connected across the combination and your battery in the circuit is also connected across the combination. So, one thing we need to learn from this that when the resistors are connected in parallel, the potential drop or the potential difference across every resistor is constant. Alright, so this is the important point which you need to keep in mind. But now what about the current? Is the current flowing through the resistor remain the same or the current will be changing? Let's understand that with another figure. So just see this, this is what is our original circuit and we need to find out what is the current flowing through every resistor when they are connected in parallel. So here what will we do first? We will first 
plug in the key all right and then we will first measure how much is the current through the entire circuit and this current we can measure from the ammeter which is connected in the circuit so this is the ammeter and in this ammeter the current will be the overall current of the circuit the total current of the circuit so we will consider that total current as say i all right now we need to find out how much is the current through resistor r1 r2 and r3 is it equal to the total current of the circuit or it, it is different let's understand that so what will we do we will first take out the key we will put the key off then we will connect an ammeter in series with resistor r1 this ammeter will measure the current which is flowing through resistor r1 so the next step is we will plug in the key and we'll see the reading in an ammeter which is connected in series with resistor r1 so we'll we'll get some reading let's assume that the current flowing through resistor r1 is i1 all right so we have assumed that the total current of the circuit is i and the current flowing through resistor r1 is i1 in the same manner we will connect an ammeter in series with resistor r2 and measure current through r2 we will consider that current as say i2 and third ammeter we will connect in series with resistor r3 and we will measure the current flowing through that ammeter and let that current be i3 so we have got current flowing through r1 r2 and r3 as i1 i2 and i3 from this you will understand and you will observe the relation between the total current flowing through the circuit and the current flowing through resistor r1 r2 and r3 and you will observe that this total current i is equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 so this is another very very important point children that when the resistors are connected in parallel current flowing through every resistor is different all right and this is exactly the opposite case as that of the resistors connected in series so in parallel potential drop across the combination remain constant but current flowing through every resistor is different and we observe the relation that the total current flowing through the circuit is equal to the sum of the currents flowing through every resistor which is connected in parallel but now what exactly we want to find out why are we doing all this so our intention is we want to find out an equivalent resistance whose value is equal to the parallel combination of these three resistors so in short we want to find out an equivalent resistance which is equal to the parallel combination of the three individual resistors r1 r2 and r3 so let's see that this we will consider that this equivalent resistor is say rp all right now what is the next step what will we do we need to find out this rp when in instead of this three resistors when i'll be using only one resistor whose value is equal to the parallel combination of this three resistor what is its value how will i calculate that for that we will apply ohm's law for the entire circuit first so you all are aware ohm's law is v is equal to ir and this will give me one relation that i is equal to v upon r and since the resistance of the circuit now we want only one resistor and that is equal to 
the value of the three resistors connected in parallel. So we will write that resistance as Rp. So I is equal to V upon Rp. Now just guess, can we apply Ohm's law individually to the current flowing through R1, R2 and R3? Can we do so? Yes, the answer is absolutely we can do it. So let we have assumed that the current flowing through resistor R1 is I1 and if we apply Ohm's law here we will get I1 is equal to V upon R1 because V across every resistor is same. Similarly, the current flowing through R2 is I2 and so I2 is equal to V upon R2 and the current flowing through resistor R3 is I3 so I3 is equal to V upon R3. Alright, now check out this. This is what we got. Now if I substitute the value of I, I1, I2 and I3 in the first equation, what do I get? Let's see that. So we'll write I is V upon Rp equal to we have calculated I1 as V upon R1 plus I2 is V upon R2 and plus I3 is V upon R3. Alright. Now if I divide the whole terms by V, I can cancel out V from every term. So what you are left with, if you cancel out V from every term, we are left with 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. So this equation tells us that the reciprocal of the equivalent resistor of the three resistances connected in parallel is equal to the sum of the reciprocal of individual resistors connected in parallel. We have taken three resistors connected in parallel so our equation will be 1 upon Rp is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. If you take more than three resistors then accordingly your formula will change and so this is one of the important relation which we get between the resistors connected in parallel. Alright, now how is this resistors connected in series and parallel is useful in our day to day life? Check out this, you all are aware of the uh, you know lights which we use for the decoration during the Diwali festival, Ganesh festival, Christmas and, and, and we use the series of bulbs. Now there you must have observed that if one bulb doesn't glow then the entire series is of no use. This is because when you connect the bulbs in series, when you connect them one after the other and if one bulb is out of order, if one bulb is not working then the current stops there, current doesn't flow ahead and so the entire connection is of no use. So the figure will explain you better that if one of the bulb doesn't glow then the entire series is of no use. And exactly opposite to this, when the bulbs are connected in parallel, every bulb is receiving a separate potential difference. Can you see that? So even if one bulb doesn't glow, the remaining two bulbs are separately connected with the battery. So they are getting equal potential difference and hence the bulb glows. So some uh, lightings wherein the bulbs are connected in series during Ganesh festival and Christmas you use this. So even if one bulb doesn't glow, the remaining works because these bulbs are connected in parallel. So now you can easily uh, apply your knowledge when you see certain things in your day to day life. Have a look at this figure. This is the common question in your exam. They will give you two figures like this and the question is in which case the bulb is brighter. The glowing of the bulb is brighter. Now you can make out the first combination is series combination. This is the battery and from the battery both the bulbs are connected. 
all right bulbs are connected one after the other so the total potential difference of this battery is divided between two bulbs if you see the other case this is the battery and every bulb is separately connected to the battery all right meaning is that if the battery is say of 12 volts then every bulb is getting 12 volts potential difference here whereas in the previous case in the series combination if the battery is of 12 volts then that 12 volts is divided between the combination of two bulbs which are connected in series so probably every bulb will get only 6 volt and 6 volt power supply you know that v and i are directly proportional to each other if you if if the potential difference is less then the current flowing through the circuit is also less if the current is less then the brightness is also less and hence since the potential difference is divided between the two bulbs in series combination the brightness is slightly less whereas in case of parallel combination each bulb gets 12 volt power supply and hence the current is more and hence the brightness in this case is naturally more so you can understand this by this particular figure the first figure is series combination you can check out that when the current is flowing it is first going through first bulb then the second bulb and so the potential difference is getting divided and hence the brightness is not that much more whereas in case of parallel circuit both the bulbs are separately connected to the power supply and hence the brightness is more because every bulb is getting more current more current is passing through every bulb because separately they are connected to the battery all right children so i hope this concept of series and parallel is clear to you i want all of you to please go through both the videos of series and parallel combination once again revise it because this is one of the most important part of this chapter so see you all once again with a new topic in the next video lesson till then bye and take care